Hey, this is Mike. Just going to take a quick look at this 2009 Chevy Tahoe in white. And uh, it's a really nice vehicle. In good shape. You can tell it's been taken care of. See, it's got the tow hooks there at the bottom. And it has the fog lights. And a set of Michelin tires that are really good condition. They look almost new as far as the tread depth. Does have the side steps. You can see the tires there. But yeah, this is the four wheel drive Z71 package. And uh, one of the features it has is the automatic lift gate and stuff. But one of them is remote start. So I'm going to go ahead and start it up. And then I'm going to unlock it. So here's the passenger side. You see it has a pocket there on the door and you've got your power door locks. You do have the heated seats as well here on the front. Power seat. See under the floor mats look good. Dash looks perfect. It does have the sunroof. Here's the uh, the bucket seats in the second row. You've got a DVD DVD entertainment system back here. There's some controls there for it. Now the seat flips up like that and like that. And I did that with one hand, by the way, because it does is a spring assisted. But um, that way you can access the third row. And to put it down, you just push it down, lift it up, just like that. I've got some cup holders right here. You've got the power supply, there's your inputs for your video. You also, you also have your controls for your heated seats back here, uh, headphone jacks. Alright, so we do have a towing package. We do have the backup sensors, parking sensors. And um, I'm going to go ahead and open up the tailgate using the key, or the key 5 I should say. And you can, uh, these seats here will fold down. You can fold them down, unlatch them, you see that handle and you can pull them out. And that way if you need some more cargo space and less passenger space, you've got that. You do have a 12 volt power supply back here. So I'm going to go ahead and close it down. There's another way to close it is push this button here. And it closes down like that. Spare tire under there as well. You have your connector here for your trailer. Let's see what this side looks like. Now here's the inside of the driver's door. You can see you have your side mirror adjustments, your power windows, door locks, your heated seats, stuff like that. There's your power seat. It does have automatic headlights. Drive controls. Now since I use the remote start, I still have to put the key in and turn it on. That way everything turns on. Now right now, I found the first flaw, and that is this right here is a little bit rubbed off on the button. Let me 
turn the fan down a little bit so it doesn't interfere and boy we need some gas don't we but there's your gauges the miles are 87 a little bit of well not but kind of halfway between 87 and 88 87 637 you got your cruise control settings on that side you've got your um, your Bluetooth and stuff on that side and you can adjust your pedals it's got the adjustable pedals over here you can turn your parking sensors off there you got your volume control here shifter with your you can manually change gears you can also put in a tow and haul mode right there steering wheels in good shape a lot of times the steering wheel will show a lot of wear up in here but this one's I don't know if you can tell but it's pretty good condition here's your CD player DVD player DVD on top CD on the bottom now on the cam the camera is making the lights flash it's not really flashing in real life then you got your dual climate control there and uh, your power supplies up here you got a nice pocket there cup holders armrest which is also a storage compartment and there's where you find your remote control and your head headsets for the DVD system it says have is on star capable in case you want to subscribe to that service your garage door controls are here you got tap lights up here and uh, here's for your controls for your um, your sunroof here's your button for opening up your tailgate now here's something interesting I'm gonna push that button and see what it does cool now that I was not aware of you can actually push those buttons and fold those seats up so that people can get in the back now let's see okay okay so I guess it goes up but not down that's pretty neat I did not know this vehicle did that but um, that way people can get in the back and they can pull the seats back down that's pretty neat you do have a premium Bose sound system in here that I forgot to mention but um got the mirror and the visor with some lights same thing on that side let's look underneath the hood If you have any questions, just uh, don't feel free to contact me. My phone number and email address will be in the description, and you can send me a text message if you want on my cell phone. But uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.